Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AKER. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Friday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. And not really anything to update, so that probably wouldn't be the right word, but more so confirmation would be an accurate word. Confirmation in regards to that, whoops, didn't mean to do that, but right up there at that 70 cent mark, which I mapped out last week, and you can see via the red line here, that's exactly where the price has struggled uh, to get above today. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that it's impossible to break through 70 cents or anything like that. I'm just saying it's definitely been confirmed after today as a level of resistance, which again, not totally shocking when you go back here through the history of the chart and you can see it was rejected there as resistance. And then you go back to Friday and sure, Friday didn't exactly hit, but I think we can agree that both of these instances there, price got pretty close and well within the range of that 70 cent mark. So 70 cents remains uh, that key level um, from a resistance standpoint where if the chart is gonna get any sort of you know upwards continuation, uh, the 70 cent hurdle is definitely the one uh, to keep an eye on. As far as levels of support, I'm gonna just go ahead and do a little house cleaning, get rid of these lines down there. Yes, they still pertain to the chart, but in the spirit from a presentation standpoint of not wanting to cause clutter and confusion because there's lines all over the place. Just want to try to keep this as clean as possible. And the, you know, kind of the quote unquote cleanest way to do that is just to kind of focus on the overall trend indicator right now, which is the famous 200 period simple moving average, which on my chart here is being, being denoted by that uh, pink line there. Even if you have a very basic understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period and you know that you know from the broad sense, as long as the price is above it, that implies that the overall trend is bullish. So that's really kind of the easiest way to approach this going forward, uh, especially since right now, the, the, the big question doesn't seem to be, you know, are levels of support gonna hold? No, it's the main question right now is, is this level of resistance gonna finally be able to be broken back up above, um, you know, as time unfolds. So the week is young, still four days left, but keep an eye on 70 cents, that is key level of resistance. And then from the overall sense, just watch that pink line there, the 200 period, something moving average as support. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.